Hello, my name is Milo. I am about one year into my weight loss program and thus far I've lost 100 pounds. Now I know what you're thinking. That doesn't sound like someone who's lost 100 pounds. Well, it's true. That's actually not me, but that's who I wanted to look like. This is me. All 430 pounds of me. Smoking a cigarette, no less. At this point, the only time you saw my whole body was if you saw me in person. In photographs, I hated taking pictures of anything but my face. This was for school. I mean, I had to do it. I had no choice. But for the most part, if you saw me or knew me on social media, this is all you got to see. This is probably one of the last pictures I was able to take um, prior to beginning my weight loss. And, you know, the thing is, I've always been a big boy. I've never been a, a skinny, normal child. And this is me when I was about 16, you know, wearing a sweater out in the 90 degree heat. Um, I can't even explain that one. But that's me when I was a punk rock teenager. Here I am again, of course, wearing long sleeves and a vest, making sure I'm trying to cover up most of my body. And yes, I had hair. Here I am again, still covered up. And you know, this trend went on for a long time and even, I mean, you can see, yes, I had hair too, but you can tell that the jacket doesn't really zip up. Uh, but uh, again, I, I tried to, you know, focus on just my face and ignore my body. But uh, once I went away to university, you know, I was really forced to, uh, put myself out there and take more pictures and god I was so uncomfortable this day um, I was this was in Spain uh, this is in the UK um, this is after many many drinks of course I was very happy to take a picture and you know have fun um, this is probably one of the few times I was actually happy to take a picture with a really good friend and um, I was actually pretty high on life at this point even though I hated my body but uh, a few months later, I dropped out of school, and everything just kind of went downhill from there, and I started to gain weight and pretty much dedicate myself to my work as a furniture um, designer and all that kind of stuff, uh, refinishing things like that, uh, really just focusing on my artwork, um, again, you know, things I would make for work, things to sell. I really... I, I didn't care about my body in, in the sense that I cared about what I put into it. I mean, I really don't have many pictures from this time frame. Um, up until I think I took a trip to LA and my sister begged me to take some pictures, so I did. And when I saw them, I just, I was blown away. I mean, here I am, full blown, 430 plus. I, I really couldn't even tell you. And it was at this point when uh, I knew I had to do something. and. You know, perfect timing with a friend of mine who was a personal trainer asked me if I wanted to train with him, and uh, yeah, there it is, 430 pounds of me. And you guys, the thing is, I have not taken off my shirt in public, uh, maybe since I was a kid, I mean, before I realized what my body looked like. And this is early footage of me lifting. Uh, the thing was, I did not want to see my body at all, even during um, during training. Uh, I waited a few months, well maybe not a few months, maybe like two months before I started filming myself um, because I just, uh, I, I could barely stand looking at my body. I mean you guys can even see in the weight room, I mean it, there are mirrors all around and uh, I had the hardest time looking straight into the mirror, let alone looking into the camera. and. Uh, this is some footage of me doing some cardio. I think I was testing uh, a supplement or something that my trainer was having me do. But I mean, you know, even when I was doing this, I mean, I'm sweating, I'm wearing a giant sweater, and I think it was about like 85 degrees in November here in SoCal. And why was I wearing a sweater? I don't know. Besides the obvious, uh, I was trying to hide my body. You know, I was terribly, terribly embarrassed. Eventually though you guys after you start to lose weight your insecurities do start to break down to a certain degree and 
you know, you can start having fun. Like, here I am with my sister, I think, uh, I don't recall how long I was into my weight loss. We were just being stupid. And, uh, you know, I started to really enjoy more of my life. But uh, even with that being said, there are still times like this point where, uh, you know, it is hard. It is a struggle. But uh, eventually you kind of break through. And this is me. I don't know. Actually, this was me a few days ago. And this is what my body looks like now. I've lost 100 pounds. I mean, I'm still terrified to take my shirt off, obviously. Even in these pictures, I was very, very nervous. But, uh, you know, I really wanted to show you guys who I am and uh, what's underneath it all. So there you have it. Now you guys have seen what I physically, you know, started out with um, in the beginning and uh, where I'm at now and all the work that I put into this. This journey is only, I don't know, maybe it's about halfway over. Maybe it'll never be over. And to be honest with you guys, that's perfectly fine with me. Losing 100 pounds is just one of the many steps I have ahead of me. And, you know, even if Say I had only lost like 90 pounds or within a year or maybe 50 pounds. It doesn't matter. My dedication is here and I'm going to continue on, you know, regardless of whether, you know, I don't meet certain goals or I completely surpass them. It, it doesn't matter. It's all about continuing on and understanding that, uh, you know, this all takes time. So what is the secret to successful natural weight loss hmm the secret for me is are you ready for it the secret is understanding that you can do it I know that sounds so simple and just kinda like duh but when you think about it what are typically the first words that you say when you decide to quit you say I can't do this and then you quit really that that is the secret accepting that you can do it knowing that you have the strength the willpower the dedication the motivation all on your own knowing that you can do it is what will get you to be successful with your weight loss and also maintain your weight loss as well so that's it that's the secret